In today's tutorial, I'm gonna give you 10 special keywords so you can find in Canva all these animated elements you can see in the background right now. All these elements are free and can help your designs and your videos look very unique and modern. So, are you guys ready for this tutorial? Let's go to my computer. So this is the first keyword I want to share with you. I actually found these animated elements not so long ago and when I saw them I was like oh these are really really cute and I think they have a really nice aesthetic. So you are going to open the elements tab or elements section. Let's click here and then we are going to type on the search box this keyword we see right here. So animated sketch and then hit enter. And I only selected six elements on this slide but if you pay attention we have so many different animated stickers or animated elements right here that you can use on your videos or your designs or even your presentations another tip that i would like to give you if you are going to be using these elements is to use them in a solid background and it will be better if you use kind of like a dark color because if you use it on a white background, of course, you are not going to see them. Or if you use a light gray, maybe they are not going to be so easy to see. And also try maybe not to use too many textures or yeah, something that has too many elements in the background because that is going to make these elements difficult to see. So that is just tip. And let's go to the second keyword. So this is the second keyword and I also found them not so long ago and I really love them. I'm in love with them. I think they look very aesthetic and modern as well. So this is going to give our designs a very modern and very elegant touch to our videos and designs. So let's type this on the element section. Let's go again to the search bar and let's type elegant basic shape sticker. And again, I want you to go and scroll down because there are so many different shapes and so many different colors. If you pay close attention, in this case, this shape that we see here, we can find it in different colors. So even if you are going to be creating a dark design or a light color design. So for example, here we have a dark gray. So this white element is going to go really fine. But if your design has a light background, you can find the same shape in a different color. So for example, here we have exactly the same shape. And if we have a white background, we will be able to use this shape. So that is something that I find really nice that we have different color selections and that is going to make our design process easier because we have different elements and different colors to choose from. The third animated element that I want to share today is this one, basic shape loop. And let's go again to elements. Let's type this keyword on the search box. So here we also find the same shapes in different colors. So I think this is going to make our lives easier when we are going to be designing because we have different options to choose from. And yeah, just go down. You will see so many different shapes right here. The ones that I like the most are this heart shape, the moon and this clover. So yeah, just go there, check them out. You can sprinkle some of these elements on your designs or also you can stretch one of these elements and use it in the background, but you can actually reduce a little bit the transparency so it doesn't create a conflict with the content of your design, but you actually see something moving in the background. So it adds some interest to your design or your videos or presentations. The fourth keyword is animated abstract decorative. So look at these elements. I really, really, really like them. I like the color selection that they used to create these animations. And also what I really appreciate about these elements is that they have a very, very subtle movement. It's not very crazy or explosive. So I think you can add them in 
any design or video and it's going to add a touch but it's not going to be very crazy so let's go to elements and type animated abstract decorative and let's see the different options we have right here in this search actually we have a bunch of different elements but if we go below we will find more of these shapes that i'm showing you on the right hand side so these are like these organic shapes and lines they also have some geometrical shapes let's say so they have like this triangle and also what i want you to pay attention is that all the elements that i'm going to be sharing today are free so i'm just hovering on top of the elements and you can see the free label and yeah so that means that anyone with a canva free account or a canva pro account can use these elements and also anyone in canva can download videos and can download gifs or gifs <laughs> So this is very nice and I really appreciate that Canva is uh, making this available for everyone. Keyword number five is this one, animated wiggly lines. So let's go to elements and let's type it on the search box. Okay, so you are going to find a bunch of different elements first related to skincare and you see like all these i don't know beauty products <laughs> but if you go below you will find the actual wiggly lines that i'm talking about and they also have a bunch of different colors and what i mentioned before is that i prefer these animations that have very subtle movements but still they have something to make your designs more interesting so this i really really appreciate about these animations you can also use this transparency feature for your designs when you are using stickers because i think this also gives us more flexibility in terms of of colors because sometimes let's say I think this purple may not go really well with the yellow in the background but if I reduce the color it can actually match because it's kind of mixing with the yellow behind so yeah I really recommend you guys use the transparency feature when using these stickers because that is going to give you more options to design and create keyword number six is animated scribble and let's go here to check these elements out i really really love this no sé cómo se dice design in english <laughs> ni siquiera sé si se escribe así chuck si sí, chuck okay okay I really really like these animations because they look like shock strokes so that reminds me of my childhood <laughs> and I also really appreciate these animations because you can highlight certain words in your design so for example if I use this one like this I can actually put it behind one of these words and I'll be making more emphasis into one of the words in the title and what I also found interesting in this selection is that they have uh, for example these cute hearts and they also have like this circle so anything to highlight things on your design I think these are going to be really useful they also have like this i will say like surprise scribble so you can also put it next to another word that you want to highlight or maybe if you are using photos on your design you can also put it next to somebody's face or i don't know anything that you would like to highlight just use this element and try to make it work with your design keyword number seven is this one animated scribble textured and i really like these animations or these stickers because i think they can add a crafty look to your designs and of course something very unique and modern to your designs or animations so let's go here to elements and let's type animated scribble textured and here we have all these scribble textured stickers and i was thinking that you can use them on your designs like leaving them on a corner like this 
and then typing your text like for example let's say that your design is a square like this one so you can type your text on this area and then you will have your animation in one corner or you know like kind of like sticking a tiny bit and just giving a vibe of movement and something interesting in your design but maybe not being really on your face like covering everything in your design because this might be too much so yeah i think i will recommend you guys use them in moderation and give them a lot of white space or negative spaces when you are designing with these specific elements and i also was thinking about something to keep you guys while i was recording this video so i'm gonna give you guys some templates so you can actually find these keywords directly in canva so basically if you go to the description of this video you will find the templates and when you access them you are going to just be able to go to each of these text boxes and copy the text and then just go here to the element section and paste it and hit enter and then you'll have all the elements really easy to find still not sure if i should create one template for each of the elements or just one template for all the elements but anyways you are going to find something cool in the description of this video that is going to be hopefully very useful for you keyword number eight is basic shape sales device so i really like these animations because they have actually useful shapes so for example this one looks like a button or this one you can position an icon on top of it or even your logo this one you can type a title or a word that you want to emphasize on your design so let's go to the element section and let's see what else uh, canva has for us so here we have all these different shapes and as i mentioned before i really appreciate that they have the same shapes in different colors so for example the one that i said that looks like a button we have the white color black gray but anyways you have different geometrical shapes and they have this little animation that is going to make this part of the design more attractive or trying to bring people's eye to this information inside these shapes so yeah really useful i think and also if you happen to create a design animation or video with these elements let me know i would like to see what you guys have to create and i of course would love to see your creations keyword number nine is animated abstract office paper for example this element or this animation looks perfect this one also looks perfect but if you pay attention to this one let me go closer so let's pay attention to the little hand on the left hand side so when it comes to the left it actually i don't know we see a piece of the hand so i thought i was having problems with my canva account or my internet connection but i actually realized that it is a little bug with some of the elements so if you see it happens the same with this one on the head and on the hands so yeah just wanted to mention this because i think these elements are worth talking about i think they are going to be really useful but just try to select the elements that don't have these glitches and work with them but yeah just thought it was very necessary to mention that and for you guys not to freak out and think that is something happening with your account i think is the actual animation that is having a glitch and the keyword number 10 is animated brush these elements are some of my favorite because you can add a very cool and unique touch to your animations if you are creating for example gifts for your facebook page or i don't know if you are creating really short videos for your feed on instagram you can add a really cool touch with these elements so let's go and check them out i really want to show you this because they have so many different colors and so many different animations so if you pay attention on this page i have 
three different animations and they have different directions. So this one is going to the bottom right corner. This one is going from this corner down to the left bottom corner. And then this one is just like a spiral. So again, I think you can add this to certain words that you want to highlight on your design or I don't know if you want to highlight anything, a photo, or I don't know if you're creating a tutorial and you want to highlight a specific button on your tutorial, you can use this. And what I really also appreciate about these elements is that they have so many different colors. So for example, here we have the circular one or this little tornado. So we have them in orange, we have this one. It's it's not the same, but it's similar. It's a blue kind of gradient. Then we have the same shape as this one, but in purple, we have it as well in white. And yeah, I think it depends on what each of you is going to be creating and the colors of your designs. But I really think you guys need to go and check these animations out. These for sure are going to add a very special touch to your creations. And for those of you who don't know, I have a bunch of cool templates available in Canva that you can use if you have a Canva Pro account. I mostly have templates for Instagram and I would like to know if you use any other template to create content for any other social media platform. I would like to know so so I'm able to create templates that are useful for you guys. So let me know in the comments and I guess see you there. On the other hand, if you want to learn more about Canva, I'm going to leave you guys some tutorials right here that I think are going to help you a lot. And I'm going to leave a link here in case that you want to check my Canva profile, you want to see all the templates that I have available there. They are very modern and they are available for Canva Pro users. That's it for today. Today, I wish you a nice day and I guess see you in the next tutorial. Bye!